Now £10 won't buy you a lot in this world these days, but what if I said it could buy you a GPU that would let you roll out your high refresh rate monitor? Well gentlemen, welcome to the Quadro K620. My name's Andy, and this is Andy's Tech, and it's good to be back after a couple of rainy weeks camping in what we call a summer here in Old Blighty. And in the true budget nature of this channel, we're going to be taking a look at this, the Quadro K620. Now I've wanted to get my hands on one of these for a while, uh, mainly because I'm strange first off, and probably the reason you're watching this video also. In its old arthritic, will someone shut grandma up way, uh, I think it's kind of cool. Now luckily this came in as part of an old Jules Ian workstation uh, we took a look at a few weeks ago so I haven't had to pay anything for it uh, but if you've missed that video I'll leave a link above now. Uh, but in the brief benchmarks we did it was being held back quite a lot by the old Xeons uh, and I wanted to see its full potential unleashed however modest that may be. Uh, but before we throw some games at the little quadro let's run through the history and the specs quick. The mighty K620 released in 2014 to the public and business sector. It's based on the legendary GM107 graphics processor which makes this a Maxwell card. The same as the needs no introduction GTX 750 Ti. It's cut down quite a lot though with just 384 cores, 24 TMUs and 16 ROPs. Also with just 2GB of a DDR3 VRAM and a 128-bit bus, the same as the 4060 Ti. Yeah, uh, no comment there. DX12 is there, uh, but it's only a feature level 12.0, so DX11 is the ticket, no cyberpunk unfortunately folks. Uh, being a quadro card, we can't overclock it, so we're stuck with the 1058 MHz base clock and 1124 MHz boost clock, uh, with the memory running at 900 MHz. It's a single slot card with a TDP of 45 watts, uh, but that said it's never pulled more than 20 watts while I've used it, uh, and in the benchmarks today you'll be able to see that. Uh, so even the most crappy power supply will not blow under the strain. Uh, and being a Maxwell card, it's still supported by the latest NVIDIA Studio drivers as well. So what will this Team Green powerhouse set you back? Uh, $10. Yes, you can actually find these as low as £10 or $10 on eBay on auction. And uh, yeah, eBay has them at buy now for around £15 or $15 every day of the week. Uh, but surely it games like a three-legged spoon race, I hear you say. Well, I think you'll be surprised and you can see for yourself. Let's roll the benchmarks. So first up, I'll just run you through the test system quick. Uh, we've got an 11th gen i3 11105F with 16 gigabytes of DDR4266 megahertz RAM in dual channel. Uh, all the games tested today are on a one terabyte SATA SSD uh, and there's a 550 watt uh, Corsair power supply. Uh, and then our little Quadro slapped in there. And uh, CS go first at 1080p low and uh, roll out your high refresh rate monitors guys. Uh, we achieved an average of 121 FPS with 1% of 62 and 0.1% of 34. Uh, a very respectable CSGO uh, experience considering the cost of the card uh, and more than playable uh, in my opinion. Uh, so next up uh, I had Dota 2, uh, again 1080p low uh, with medium textures uh, and we had the res scale down, turned down a little bit. I think it was 70% or 75% and uh, we achieved an average of 122 FPS. Again, another high refresh rate experience uh, with 1% of 70 and 0.1% of 60. A very acceptable experience again all round and again a high refresh rate experience uh, if you had a 120Hz monitor. Really impressed with this little Quadro uh, K620 so far. Uh, you could probably get away with turning things up to medium or maybe even high settings and uh, still achieving a 60 FPS experience. So a new one to the benchmarks uh, and I just couldn't resist buying this uh, on Steam and it's Battlebit Remastered uh, and again I went for 1080p on the potato preset uh, as we are going potato today. And it was in a 64 by 64 team player uh, battle. 
uh, achieved an average of bang on 144 FPS with 1% of 84 and 0.1% uh, of 11. Now I know this game isn't uh, very demanding but still that's quite impressive really considering the £10 whatever you can pick this card up for. Uh, and games like this are really what these uh, older potato graphics cards are for and look it just goes to show you know you don't need uh, a super expensive high-end system to get a high refresh rate experience. Now things start to take a turn from here on in. Uh, GTA 5 uh, 1080p uh, with the detail sliders at a third and four times anti-aliasing uh, achieved an average of 67 fps 1% of 43 and 0.1% of 25. GTA is not a, an FPS game and uh, 60 FPS is more than acceptable in my opinion. Uh, I would go so far as to say you can turn a few bits up to high and play it nearer to 30 and I would have no trouble with that. You could certainly play through a GTA uh, like this with this card. So another pass in my opinion there. Uh, Overwatch 2 next, a newer title, uh, 1080p, 75% resolution scaling on the low preset. Achieved an average of 72 FPS with 1% of 49 and 0.1% to 43. Again, another great experience. Uh, not quite as high as I would like for a game like Overwatch. 60 is the magic number, uh, especially when you're working at this lower end of the market uh, and on this scale. So yeah, Overwatch 2 would be more than playable on a card like this. Uh, next, I have Apex Legends. Had to test it. Uh, we tested it out in the... Uh, Julesy on video, uh, had to go for 720p here uh, with a target of 60 FPS uh, with the scaling option set. Uh, we managed that, uh, we managed it fairly comfortably. I mean, it does look like a bit of a pixelated mess. Uh, I'm really not sure what the internal uh, rendering resolution is, something like 200p or something, maybe even less, maybe even like 100p. But we achieved an average of 61 uh, FPS with 1% to 25 and 0.1% of 20. Uh, I mean, if you had an older, like 22 inch 720p monitor, uh, you, you could say this was passable. Um, but yeah, enemies and stuff were, were quite hard to spot at a distance. And yeah, I just got, got murdered all the time destroyed uh, I would say yeah destroyed all the time but still we achieve 60 FPS and uh, you know if you are stuck with a card like this you still can still get online and play some Apex Legends uh, now I wanted to finish on a high uh, and I think I kind of have really uh, Fortnite last 1080p performance mode with 75% resolution scaling uh, we achieved an average of 92 FPS with 1% of 35 and 0.1% of 17 now for Fortnite uh, those percentile figures in my opinion are quite respectable um, I've certainly had some issues with Fortnite recently, uh, especially on lower end systems uh, like Haswell, stuff like that. Uh, four cores in Fortnite uh, are just dead now, you know. Um, I keep seeing Toasty Bros trying to game on it with like 6 Gen i5s. Just don't do that, guys. And um, the little i3 here is, is definitely helping us along uh, in those percentiles. Um, but yeah, average 92 uh, FPS. And yeah, pa pass on Fortnite. Be more than happy to to play the game casually like this uh, so yeah that brings us to the end of the benchmarks uh, so in conclusion is it a turd is it a plane or is it a, a half decent uh, potato graphics card uh, for the 10 to 15 pounds uh, you can buy it at uh, yes i'd say so i mean obviously you have to bear you have to bear the limitations in mind of it is it is a 10 pound graphics card you know um, we're not living in the uh, the GPU apocalypse anymore, uh, so you can uh, pick up some some half decent GPUs for pretty cheap these days. Uh, but if you're stuck or if you're on a really low budget, you've got an old Dell or an old HP office computer, uh, and you really just want to get online uh, and play some esports titles with your friends, yeah, go ahead, buy one of these. Uh, you'll you'll have a blast with it. Uh, I mean, I, I started my PC uh, gaming journey again uh, with a Radeon R5 240, uh, to my shame. Uh, but I had so much fun with it, you know, and uh, that's really uh, what it's all about. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, taking a look at this uh, little quadro today. I hope you had fun. Uh, I had fun making the video.
Uh, if you need uh, cheap CD keys, uh, you can use the discount code uh, premiumcdkeys.com for your Windows activation codes and stuff like that. Uh, all the details are in the script description below. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Thank you for all the support. Love you guys. Uh, take care as always. God bless. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Cheers.